I am so ready. Okay, that was that was your cute Nintendo. I'm I'm ready. Oh god. This is so cool. I love it so much. Be gone! You don't belong in this world, monster! Whoa! Who's this? <laughs> Who is this? Who is that? <laughs> oh my gosh. No! No, don't do this to me. Okay. I love this trailer so much. This is everything that I love. Smash Brothers and horror. Hello, I'm Masahiro Sakurai from Sora Limited. This is a follow-up to our recent announcements about Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Without further ado... Yes! The legendary this vampire so cool. hunter from the Castlevania series, Simon Belmont, is finally joining the roster. This is so crazy. He's been given a bit of a makeover. His signature item is, of course, his holy whip. I might have to play this guy. Vampire I don't even. I'm not even the biggest fan of Castlevania. I like it. I've just never played it. It's a bit it. slow, but I think its average reach during normal attacks Dude. is longer than any other fighters. He can move the whip freely. His special attacks are very recognizable. The axe. Cross. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Holy water. Holy water? Oh, that's cool. And upper. Love that item. <laughs> While they may seem simple, they are very powerful. I might have to play Simon Belmont. And his final smash is called Grand Cross. And it's the coolest final smash in the world. Simon's stage is none other than Dracula's Castle. It's the darkest of stages in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love it. When an attack hits one of the candlesticks, I'm so an item happy. Will <laughs> in this stage, bosses this from so across cool. the Castlevania series will rear their ugly heads. They make Dracula's castle feel true to the world from whence they came. This is so cool.
And Who, what? Who's the question mark? Castlevania. Marks? You can't forget to mention the music. For this stage, we will incorporate oh, yeah. 34 Can't forget to mention the music when it comes to Castlevania. Tunes. That's definitely not what got this leaked last night. Popular among our music team, and they were excited to work oh on my gosh, that's so cool. Once in a blue moon, Simon's immortal rival will appear. Dracula. Reborn every 100 years, he is eternally fated to wage war against descendants of the Belmont clan. That's super cool. I know a lot of people are going to say like, oh, why not make him a playable Under character, and that would be cool, be but... Time will tell. Like, this is way better. Now, for a brand new assist trophy. That riff is dope. Yeah. Alucard, Ooh. son of Dracula, will lend his steel in battle. It's cool. He wields the chrysogram. Transforms into a bat. I'm gonna be honest. I don't care about his sister. <laughs> He's very similar to his starring role in Castlevania: Symphony of the Night. Like other assist trophies, he's susceptible to attack and KO as well. Nevertheless, he'll prove to be quite challenging. Didn't look challenging and for him. We have one more fighter for you. Oh yeah, never mind. They showed him. The vampire hunter who starred in classics like Castlevania: Rondo of Blood, Richter Belmont, joins the battle. So crazy. Richter is an echo fighter based on Simon. So hey, though his strength is the same. His this is crazy. And we got two Castlevania characters. Besides, the Super Smash Brothers Ultimate version of Simon can perform moves derived from Richter in his original games. So it's hard to say who's really echoing who. I hope you'll enjoy them both. Farewell. Oh my gosh, it's I'd like so to cool. introduce two more Echo Fighters from completely different series while we're on the topic. <laughs> Come on, more! Please take a look. Let's see more. Oh cool, it's Fire Emblem, I'm so happy. I mean, it's Chrome. We all kind of saw Chrome coming. I... You know what, I'm actually so happy because so many people are going to be bitching about this. And I am... I could not be happier that people will bitch about this. But I'll play Chrome. He looks like an Ike clone, so... I, I wanted to learn Ike. This would be a good excuse to. Showing all the Fire Emblem characters just so that certain people can get really upset. Okay, what's the next one? Oh. Okay. I'm more fine with this than I thought I would be. I will play as Dark Samus. Oh my gosh. I have one more Samus to play as. This is so cool. They've announced four characters. It's been live for less than 10 minutes. Kron and Dark Samus joined the battle. <laughs> you may have seen this coming. Both fighters have been highly requested. Oh my they're gosh. They're slightly different than the fighters they're based on, so pick whoever you enjoy most. As you can see, depending on your settings, you can either display all Echo Fighters separately on the Fighter Select screen oh. or stack them with the Fighters Oh, that's cool. When stacked, I'm totally you can gonna, between them with the press I'm button. totally just going to have all of them on at the same time. I want just a this massive time, Character Select screen, but I like that they gave an option. Fighter before the game launches. We'll have a few more to announce later, so stay tuned. Okay. Good. Okay. For stages, <laughs> we're mainly including returning favorites. Allow me to introduce some of the stages we haven't shown before. I mean, we've seen this, but you didn't really show it off. This is so exciting that that's back. This was a nice stage to play on Omega version. Oh, cool. It, I can't say I'm excited for this one, but it's it's not like it's bad, it's just like... Ooh. 
I want to see something that's going to look really... Actually, you know what? The lighting on this stage looks really cool. Magic Hand. I'm happy with this. More Mother Series games. Or stages, I mean. <gasps> oh, it's Final Destination! Oh, it looks so cool! Oh my gosh, yes. People speculated it might be going up the high rises. <laughs> Look at that guy. <laughs> Look at that guy. I love this direct so much. We put a lot of effort into enhancing the look oh, of the found in a dreams. and balancing them as well. Yes! That said, for stages that originally appeared in the Nintendo 64 Thank you. we prioritized nostalgia, intentionally keeping the classic look. The Thank stage you. total I appreciate is turning that. out to be pretty impressive. Let's compare it to the totals Chicago in jungle. previous games. Now the total number of stages is, voila, 103. We must be crazy. Yeah, if we exclude be. Battlefield, Final Destination, and Big Battlefield, we'd have exactly 100. But take a look at the stage selection. Uh, Omega, yeah. Every stage can also be transformed Omega. into you both did. Battlefield and I'll Omega. I'll tell you later. Form, so the total number of stages <laughs> is actually more than 300. Oh my gosh. All of these stages can be played in eight player battles, and they are all available from the beginning. That's so cool. Additionally, you have the option to turn yes. off stage hazards. It's confirmed. When you're looking Finally. for a change of pace and don't want to Finally. be interrupted by hazards, select oh this option gosh. for a less chaotic experience. Okay, that's just an FD also, version at this point. the order of the stages matches the order in which they were introduced in the series, just like the fighters. So Regarding okay. stages, we have a little surprise. Please take a look. What? Is this the surprise? Check that out. While playing, the stage can transform around you. But first, you must select the stage morph option. <gasps> That's so cool! Then, you can pick two stages on the stage select menu. That's so cool! Feel free to choose any stage that you'd like. I know every competitive tryhard right now is like, oh, who cares? No one's gonna do that. I'm gonna do that. Man. It's so cool. For the player who wants it all, my music lets you select specific tracks for each stage, and this feature is making a return. The frame rate's really weird Until on this. Until now, right each now. stage had its own set of music tracks. But this time, the tracks are organized by series instead. For example, as long as you're playing on a stage based on the Legend of Zelda series, ah, you ah, can pick any of the tracks included from that series. Thank you, but shh. Now for the total number of music tracks from stages. This is also ultimate. Oh wow, more than 800 tracks. And if we count other types of music, like menus and fanfare, then there's actually about 900 compositions. Come on. If you played them all in a row, without leaving or stopping, there's more than 28 hours worth of music. Oh, I'm gonna listen to all of it. These game franchises are a big part of video game history, and the result is a massive library of memorable music. All of this packed into one game. This, this stage is gonna look really, really cool. Of course, there's a sound test menu oh. as well. For your menu taste? Pleasure, taste of the menu? All of the tracks by game series. Please tell me I can make like any of them the menu an theme. For each series. Add to playlist? If a track has no corresponding fighter or stage, or if it's from one title rather than a series, it can be found in the other section. You can create your own playlist too. 
Sort them in any order you like, anytime, as much as you want. 29 main themes? What? That must mean, like, game main themes, not like main menu themes. In handheld mode, you can play music. Okay, I'll tell you, Omega. Off. They announced four it's characters: kind of like using Dark Nintendo Samus, Switch Chrome, and then uh, Simon Belmont a huge and Richter of Belmont music has been collected for the and game. Richter is and a, an echo of, of Simon, the and then website. Dark Samus, obviously an echo of Samus, Chrome an echo of. We're Ike. planning to add selections, basically. That's what you missed. Week, and so please stay oh tuned. Oh my God, it's crazy. Rules. I love rules. Some of you may have experienced the game already, but I'd still like to show you some things about the multiplayer battle rules. Now the first thing you will select is the rules. If you create your cool. own rule set, you can immediately begin playing with those rules at any time. Let me check something real quick. Okay, it is set to 60. I don't In know addition to time battle and stock battle, stamina battle is now treated as one of the standard smash modes. There's a different feeling cool. of intensity in these battles. The stamina mode was fun. This time, stage selection comes before fighter selection. This way, you can pick a fighter based on how well suited they are for the stage. Or let the last battle's loser pick the next stage to even the odds. I like it. In Sudden Death, you not only start with 300% damage, but the camera will steadily zoom in. This creates a nice sense of urgency. Chargeable final smashes are now a selectable option. Oh, that's cool. During a match, your final smash meter will fill, and then, once it's maxed out, you can use a weaker final smash. I like it. That that's when pretty you apply cool. this option to a match, things can get. Yeah, really that one leak was correct. If you're up for a party, please try it out. By the way, but no one said anything about Richter. Will happen simultaneously. Okay. There are other additions to the battle modes too. We've added in Squad Strike. It's a 5-on-5 yes. five five or 3-on-3 three three elimination-style battle to decide I, the winner. Everyone was asking for this. Will use five everyone was asking for this. One battle, but this it is might so be great. For multiple players to take turns as well. This is so great. We're also including tourney mode. Choose the number of players and CPU participants, and the game will automatically I am so glad this is tournament back. bracket. I can check Up that off my bingo board. can join the tournament, so it's great for parties too. We're adding a special smash mode called Smashdown. After a battle in this mode, the previously selected fighters will no longer be available to use in oh, the next that's battle. that's cool. So each player must select a different fighter. It definitely pays off to be skilled with multiple fighters. You could also strategically pick a fighter your opponent is good with before they can. The new training mode will feature an exclusive stage. We've displayed a grid so it's easy to measure distance and more. Wow. You can also this display is, launch crazy. distance. This is so crazy. The red line predicts your trajectory at 0% damage. This is so damage, crazy. And the blue line oh is my for 100% damage. It's... The fighter's weight is factored in at the moment of impact. Oh, daisy gameplay. The single player mode in which players battle against a series of fighters will return in the form of classic mode. Yes. Yes, please be like Each I. Each fighter has a set yes. series of stages for okay. the opponents they will face. Yes, this is great. It's so great. I was wanting this. <clears throat> now, let me introduce you to some new items, Pokemon, and I really do, Omega. I really do. I think they know they need to end with one. Please, please no K rule assist trophy. Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me. <laughs> my hearts get to beat. <laughs> I'm so sure. That's cool. That's so cool. Oh, by the way, Omega, you, uh... You know what? 
no, I'll watch the trailer again at the end of this because it was so cool. But the Simon Belmont trailer was the coolest Smash Brothers trailer I've ever seen. <clears throat> oh, cool. That's so cool. Man, they're going above and beyond with this game. I love it. Yeah, I've seen Abra. He's a, a neat new addition. I know a lot of people are going to be disappointed about Mimikyu because they were hoping that they'd be a character, but like, really that's not a good character. Let's be honest. Let's not make this another, another Waluigi thing, please. Oh, that's cool. That is really cool. Back to base! Okay, time for some dreams to be broken. This is just un this is just worrying me. This is all this segment is doing. Uh, we've seen some of these before. Okay, okay, claptrap's fine, but no K rule. No K rule, no K rule. Okay, Captain, that's cool. That's neat. Oh, that's so cool. Great Fox. Ni oh, Nikki. Classic. Oh, that's gonna break some hearts right there. Oh, that's gonna break some hearts right there. Oh, man. The idea that you were so close to having Shovel Knight. And here he is. <sighs> Sorry. All of it can be considered special. Now you guys know how I felt with Bomberman. Has just arrived. Please no. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Please don't. From the Monster Hunter series, Rathalos swoops in. <laughs> Why is there a Monster Hunter character? What is this? Also show up as an assist trophy. Actually, he's the first character to appear as both. Before we go, I'd like us to take a quick look at the main menu. Yes, okay. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, that looks so cool. As you can see, there's a mysterious mode here. But we can't talk about that just yet. Also, there's a dashboard on the right side of the screen. This can be accessed at any time by pressing the ZR button. Options and control descriptions are listed here as well. That's all for today's announcement. The entire development team is putting all of their energy into shake? finishing the game, so please be patient until launch day. K rule. Thank you so much for watching.
Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is the best day ever. I know better. He's here. There's no way they would do that to me. They wouldn't do that to me. Oh my gosh. Yes. 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 This is amazing. It's a dream, I'm still asleep. Ugh, it's so cool. Oh, this is so cool. Oh my gosh. That was incredible. That was incredible. It, it, oh my god. 